On that uh, expedition, we are going to visit the ruby producing area near Baitai and also Baishui. Baishui is a valley that is just south of, uh, of Baitai that was mined by the Vietnamese government during the 1980s. When I go in the field, the main objective is to collect samples, reference samples for the lab. With this uh, about uh, 50 or 60 stone, when we do chemistry, we'll be able to get uh, a nice uh, statistic environment about the chemical composition of the rubies and pink uh, rubies from uh, this area. Just with that, there is already a lot of information. On this information, is much more valid because I trust that these stones are coming from that mine in that valley. If I buy the stone in the market in Yente, yes, probably the stones are coming from Yente and Lukian area but I cannot see if there is any difference between the stone, for example, from Baitai, the stone from Baishui, the stone from Manfu, because I don't buy them from a specific person, I buy them from people who are making parcels with stones that they get every day from many other people. The stones are arranged by size and by color. So you have maybe 20 or 30 stones about red or 20, 30 stone pink, and they collect this stone day after day from many different people. So usually all these parcels are, are mixed parcels of stone coming from different places. Mainly stone coming from the area, but you have also a few stone coming from outside. For example, you have a coumarin. A coumarin are usually coming from other parts of uh, Vietnam. You have also a few stones that are, I'm not really sure if they are coming from here, but uh, it's all the time uh, quite interesting to, to check and uh, make some kind of preliminary study. Most of people here is dry people. They have around 20 dry people living here because they, uh, long times ago, they stay away from the place. There's a lot of war, so they just move to mountain to living, to stay away from war. That's why they are still living here until now. And, uh, and then people were starting to know about gemstone. So they just go around and their place already, they know everything here. So they're starting mining to looking for gemstone. Yeah, this is perfect. Yes. So if here, you may have one, two, three rubies together, mm -hmm. like that. The ruby will be a trap between the, between the rock, oh. okay? If the water go away, like now, yes. but you have a ruby here, and if you have, you see the water dipping here, then you have slowly and slowly some calcite that are gluing the rock together. You see this rock on this rock? Glue, glue, glue. All these rock are glued by calcite. Mm -hmm. You see this white thing? So this is why sometimes in cave, you have rubies that are glued together. Uh but this is with, cal with calcite. This uh, area is quite interesting because some very fine quality stone were produced and maybe will be produced in the future because currently there is no more big mechanized mining, there is still some residual mining from uh, small scale uh, miners. <laughs> 